learners, welcome to Weatherby's fifth grade moving up ceremony. This is a time for celebration, marking the end of elementary school and moving on to a new chapter in your life. Think about this quote from Dr. Seuss. Sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. In this moment, think about where you are now. This is a very different ending to your school year. A difficult one because we don't have the opportunity to celebrate in school with friends and teachers as you say goodbye and move on to middle school. As you get older, you will look back and remember this year, 2020, as a moment in time when the world changed. There are moments in time when we look back and associate where we were, what we were doing during that event. You are living a monumental event. We're learning about coronavirus, its impact on our lives. We have to quarantine, stay at home, practice social and physical distancing. We've relearned how washing your hands is very important. 2020, we're not able to return to school following spring break, the year you finished fifth grade with virtual learning. And looking ahead, we don't know where all this will lead us in the future. We do know you are moving on to middle school, but how will that look for you? Middle school is one of the most difficult times in a student's life. What choices will you make? What friends will you make? What path will you follow? Years from now, when this moment becomes a memory, will you look at it, back at it and be proud of who you've become and the choices you've made? Sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Remember, you are a mariner, a person who navigates and charts their course for success. Savor the moments and create wonderful memories. I wish you good luck in middle school and much success in your future. Hey everyone, Miss Barbieri here. I can't believe how quickly this school year flew by. I know that things didn't go as planned and that we missed out on some valuable time with each other, but you guys put in so much work this year that I have no doubt that we would have rocked the FSA. And I have every confidence in the world that you guys are going to continue to rock it in middle school and beyond. Something that we have always prided ourselves on as a class is that we are a team. We are a family. Teamwork makes the dream work. And we've been known to get a little competitive, which I might have had something to do with, but I definitely think that it brought out the best in all of you. You guys have persevered in the face of adversity and encouraged me to keep going even when I feel discouraged. I may be your teacher, but you guys have taught me more than you'll ever know. So while it's sad to have to say goodbye, I'm comforted in the fact that I know that you guys are going to go on to do extraordinary things. And before you go, I want to leave you with this. I hope your dreams take you to the corners of your smiles, to the highest of your hopes, to the windows of your opportunities, and to the most special places your heart has ever known. Now, go out there and change the world. And no, I'll never forget you. I love you all. Class dismissed.
whether it be fifth graders from Mrs. Burton's homeroom, I want to wish you guys a great summer and good luck in the sixth grade. But before we go, I want to say one word or two that describes you and what I think of you every time I see or hear your name. Yamalette, pure sweetness. Jarrell, inquisitive. John, super smart. Norian, handsome. Mikaela, feisty. Lewis, driven. Brian, Dr. Brian. Marcus, athletic. Emily, tender-hearted. Belinda, social butterfly. Max, million-dollar smile. Cartella, laid back. Thomas, task-oriented. Janiah, crafty. Leilana, determined. Pamela, silent professional. Zizi, hard worker. Roxana, smiley O'Reilly. Evan, highly intelligent. Xaria, responsible. Alexon, very sweet. Francisco, gentleman. Asia, diligent. And Rickiana, spunky. Have a great summer, guys. I love you and I miss you. Great. This is Miss Core, science teacher, math teacher. I know that we would have rocked the FSA this year, but we were stopped short. I'm going to ask you to take the same energy over there to middle school, and there you're going to shine bright like a diamond. Stand tall, be a cut above the rest. Do the very best you can in every way that you can. I want you to understand that what's inside of you is greater than any obstacle. Go out there, conquer, the sky is the limit. Be the very best you can and I'll say it again. Be the very best you can. Let no one tell you otherwise. And at this time,
Ms. Crooks here to congratulate you on going from Mariners to middle schoolers. I'm super proud of each and every one of you. I'm happy that I got to spend fourth and fifth grade with most of you. Um, I got to watch you learn and grow as individuals. And I hope that when you move into middle school, that you continue to believe in yourself, look for the good in others, and always try your best to succeed and never, never give up. Um, I will miss you as you sail into middle school. Bye guys. Hello Marvelous Mariners, this is indeed a year for the history books. Quarters 1, 2 and 3 were business as usual, learning and following the rules and routines, setting and pursuing personal and academic goals, and fun and laughter as we engage with one another in and out of the classroom. Then came spring and quarter 4, when many of us conceded, I am 100% certain that I'm 0% sure of what I'm going to do. This sums up how many of us felt about virtual school canvas and teams, crying, throwing tantrums, hiding under the table, screaming, I don't want to go to virtual school today. Oops, that was just me. But because you all rose so magnificently to the challenge, today I salute you. I salute you graduates for charting your own course, mastering virtual school and progressing with your studies. I salute you graduates for being dynamic and innovative willing to change and adjust to the new norm. I salute you because you're living and recording in real time history, substantiating the fact that you'll be phenomenal as future global ambassadors. Finally, in the profound words of Dr. Seuss, you have brains in your head and you have feet in your shoes and you can steer yourself any direction you choose. You are on your own and you know what to do and you're the one who will decide where to go. Whether it be fifth grade graduates of 2019, 2020, congratulations, God bless and bon voyage.
This is by far a different moving ceremony than ever before. You are living through an event that will be discussed in history books and spoken about for years. You get to make up the moments in this time that you want to remember and share those memories in the future. I'm so proud of you all. Congratulations on this accomplishment. This has truly been an experience you will never forget. May you always remember your resiliency in taking on the last quarter of fifth grade. Your plans and your circumstances may change as this year has, but as a Mariner, you have what it takes to stay the course and work hard on your dreams. I wish you the best of luck in middle school.